Hello, I'm Matt Hatzel, Director of Music for Sandusky Central Catholic School. Thank you for watching Sandusky Central Catholic Presents Hello My Baby. I want to thank our administrators, my assistant directors, and everyone involved in the production for seeing this to the very end. For those of you who didn't know, this production was set to take place early in, early in April live at the Kinzel Center, but due to COVID-19, production was postponed. After about a month of deliberating, we decided to go forward with the musical in an animated format. The credits at the end are in regards to those who signed up for the original live action feature. I did this because when we announced the switch to animation, so many of the uh, members of stage and tech crew asked me what they could do to help, and I wanted their efforts to be noted as well. Now, as with all things at SCCS, we invite you to join us in prayer if you are willing, and please enjoy Sandusky Central Catholic Presents, Hello My Baby. Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord our God, we thank you for the gifts that you have given to us all. We praise you in particular this day for the gifts and talents you have given to our SCCS students who have performed in this musical. Help us to always remember the good that comes about when we put our talents together to create something more beautiful than we could have accomplished on our own. Continue to bless us so that all we do might be for the greater glory of your name. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, my baby. Get your latest, greatest hit tunes, folks. Hello, my honey. Irving Berlin, the Gershwin Brothers, hot off the press. Hello, my ragtime gal. Yes, sirry. Buy a sheet of music, take it home, play it on your piano. There's two bits and a nickel. Now, who could say no to that? If you refuse me, honey, lose me, then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, tell 
telephone and tell me you're yours. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I'm just wild about Harry, and Harry's wild about me. Tootsie, goodbye. Yes, sir. Your newsy sell newspapers, your apple sellers sell apples, and us song pluggers, <laughs> well, we sell songs, which ain't as easy as it looks. Eight days a week, you're out before the sun, singing your lungs out, fighting for every last nickel, unless you're making key. Because I got a secret. It ain't how you sing the song, baby. It's how you sell it. And who you sell it to. Rock a by your baby. Everybody loves a baby, that's why I'm in love yes. with. Sir, that's my baby. No, sir, don't mean maybe. Yes, yes sir, that's my baby. Step aside, boys, and let the real King of the Pluggers show you how to sell a song. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Excuse us. Send me a kiss by wire. No thanks. Baby, my heart's on fire. Oh, we gotta get to the factory. Easy, 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 honey, you're then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I know. No, wait, stop that go. Hello, Song plugging is a real job. And that's Mr. Pisher to you. If you refuse me, honey, you'll lose. Then you'll be left up. Ah, oh, what's the use? You ain't gonna buy a song for me, are you, miss? Nope. Pick up your foot, kid. Figures. I ain't sold a sheet of music all day. And I ain't sold a beer. Other foot. This is all that darn factory girl's fault. This morning, I was king of the pluggers. Then she came along and threw me off my game. Now look at me. I can't even sell a song in a music hall. What if that's it? What if I never sell another song again? What if it was all for nothing? Oh, I'm sorry, Ma. You came all the way over from Kimari on the bottom of a boat. To give your wee baby boy a better chance at life. And this is how it ends. Aww. Out. Aw, oh, have a heart, miss. If you won't buy a tune, the least you can do is let me try my luck with your customers. What customers? One's all I need. I feel my ginger coming back to me. I'm going to sell a song to the very next person who walks through this store. God help the next song boy I see, Francis. I'll rip out his song plugging tongue and shove it so far down his song plugging throat that it comes out his song plugging. Fa factory girl? 
Song boy? You, you wanna buy a song? Seriously? If it wasn't for you and your stupid song, me and my sister would still have our jobs. You got fired from the trouser factory? And Dr. Week's pay. All because we got to work one song too late. But tomorrow's the first of the month, Betty. Rent is due, and we got protection money to pay. Oh, don't worry, Francis. Betty fixed everything. You bet I did. Me and Violet waited outside the factory till closing time. Then we snuck back inside and took every last pair of pants. We're going to finish selling them if it takes all night. And if the boss wants them back in the morning, that'll be one week's wages. Six bucks a piece. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Well, that's some plan, Betty. Only, how do I say this? Nice Jewish girls don't steal pants. Oi, now I gotta worry about rent and protection and what to do when the cops show up. I'm sorry, Francis. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Am I the only one here who's not sorry? Oh, I'm not sorry. Thank you. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. Mickey Mickey, King of the Pluggers. But you can call me Songboy. How about I call you the louse who lost me my job? Whoa, whoa. You ought to thank me. Three smart sisters like you shouldn't be sewing pants for a living. Not when you got this perfectly swell music hall right here. Perfectly swell? That must be songboy talk for flat broke. Gold's music hall isn't exactly rolling in customers. It died from the cholera. Just like Mama and Papa. Violet! Well, it might just have well have. Nobody comes in anymore. Nobody plays the piano. This piano? Oh, too bad. She's a beaut. She was Papa's. He's the only one who could play her. Him and you, Betty. Well, gee, don't you think he'd want you playing her again now? Say some brand new Cracker Jack million seller type song? Why, you got one? Oh, you bet I do, Squirt. Heck, I only plug other guys' songs so I can eat and live. What I really want to do is write the songs folks will be singing, say, a hundred years from now. Great, you can write down here. Just try and stop me. Only a, gee, uh, can't exactly write music. A songwriter who can't write music? Next thing you'll tell us you can't play it either. You name it, I can't play it. But if you can play it, I can sing it. Oh, my sister can play anything. She's a musical demon. Please, Betty. Please. Please. Fine. Sing us your million seller, Mr. McKee. Give me a note. Any note. Me mother had me strapping my feet and along to you. Do tell. I couldn't sing a hell or catch a ball or climb a tree. Obviously. But though the other lads were blessed in every other way. So you said. Me mother loved me best, for I would sing while she would play. And she'd play and play all day. And each time she'd stop. Would you just sing the darn song already? I'd say, won't you play your simple melody like my mother sang to me? One with good old fashioned harmony, play your simple melody. Well, look who thinks he's Irving Berlin. You don't like it? No, it's fine, Mr. McKee. It's just not finished. If you want a hit song nowadays, I know I'm from some musical team and taking my mystic dream and turn it into a rap. Right. Just change the classical mood to some sweet, beautiful track. Yeah. If you will break the cup, the other ticket is choppy, you'll give me my applause. And that is simply because I want to listen to rap. Say, crazy idea, but it might just work. That's why we sing both parts at the same time. Oh, please, that'll never. Say, that's some swell tune. Who's it by? Oh, Key and Gold. King and Gold. Stanford Tierney Jr. I've come to collect the rent from my grandmother, but that simple little song keeps playing in my ear. But 
What about the rest? It's simply the only song I want to hear. Here, here. So simple, don't you know, a baby in a good room. That's simply wonderful. Hey, you two, try that again. Betty Gold, if you can write the song, I can plug it. Coots can publish it, and by golly, the whole world can sing. What do you say? Two bits and a nickel. I wanna listen to you. Buy the first pop? I wanna listen to you. Tonight we start selling that million, Betty. Only 999,999 to go. I wanna listen to you. So anyway, about the rent. I'm sorry, Mr. Tierney, but we don't have your money. My sisters just lost their jobs, and tomorrow being the first of the month, we have to pay Johnny Giovanni for protection. You pay someone named Johnny Giovanni for protection? From whom? Johnny Giovanni, I own this hood. Show me the money, and I'll protect you real good. I'm sorry, Mr. Giovanni, but we don't have your money. My sisters just lost their jobs, and... Yeah, yeah, life's tough, I know. The trouble is, I want my dough. So if you do not pay your debts, you'll see how tough life really gets. My associates. Dixie the Duck. And Catfishes. Will now demonstrate. Fellas, expeditious. Wait! She said production money's due the first of the month. That's tomorrow, not tonight. 30 days, half September, April, June, and yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I will give you fair warning. I'll be back in the morning, and then you will pay. Boys, walk this way. Is he always so poetic? They say his mother dropped him on his head as a baby. <laughs> Gee, your mom slips one time, and <laughs> it's a life of rhyme. See what I did there? But enough about me. Come on, fella, we gotta skedaddle so this little lady can write it down a million seller hit song by McKee and Gold. That's Gold and McKee. Aw, oh, who cares, Betty? So long as you and Mickey McKee keep on making beautiful music together. Won't you play a simple melody like my Betty played for me? Now cut that out. She can pound a note and sing off key. Not you too. She's, She's the, the only, only girl, girl for, for me. me. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Stop it, both of you. I'm not sweet on Mickey McKee and he's not sweet on me. We wrote one song together. So what? One song won't pay the rent, or protection, or buy apples for lunch. You just sold that one song to the very first person who heard it. Yeah, and if you can sell one, you can sell a million. Mickey says he can get it published. Mickey says a lot of things. That doesn't mean they're true. Forget it, both of you. I'm not falling for some crazy song boy's crazy dream. Dreaming and scheming only get me in trouble. Remember that time we snuck into the factory and stole a bunch of pants? Yeah, look where that got us. Forget dreaming. I've got pants to sell. Francis, what's wrong with having a dream? Oh, baby, how could a 14-year-old ever understand? When you're 16, you'll see. A dream is just a want you can't have. Like how you read penny romances, but you'll never meet a little prince? Right. As for Betty, sure, she wants to write the songs people sing far away and forever. But dreams don't pay, baby, and pants do. Now go on. Those things aren't going to sell themselves. Sell a song. Huh. Even if we sold a million copies times two bits and a nickel divided by two equals... Stop it. You can't count on a song. Now sewing, you can count on. Ouch. 
end of the rainbow there's happiness And to find it how often I've tried But my life is a race, just a wild goose chase And all my dreams are denied Why do the rain clouds always find me? What could the reason be? I wonder if the world's to blame It's none of my beeswax, but you say you're always chasing rainbows and watching little birdies back and by. No, I said clouds, but... Oh, but you don't seem like all those silly girls who came in and dancing to keep their lights out of the sky. Yeah, no, I don't see how... Oh, you're so you're chasing after rainbows and so you're painting them in colors bright and bold. Painting the clouds. Yellow, orange, crimson, blue, and violet. Not quite yet, we There's my ride. Finish that music by morning and meet me at Ethelbert Coots Music Publishers, 28 Broadway, 10 Pan Alley. In your dreams, and that's Golden McKee. Coots waits for the pitch. Ahem, <clears throat> nothing ma. ma. Stick ball's the devil's own game, children, and I'll have none of it on my watch. Chop, chop now. Work comes first here at Ethelbert Coots. And speaking of work, has anyone seen my new cleaning girl? 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 <laughs> cleaning girl. So don't get any ideas. And Artie Coots fires the ball. And Albie Coots smashes it. And from out of nowhere, Big Daddy Burt Coots runs into center field, and the crowd goes wild. Ahem. <laughs> chop, chop, boys. Work comes first here at Ethel Burt Coots. Am I right, Ethel? You're right, Burt. And speaking of the first, today it is. Which means what, Mr. Coots? Why, Mrs. Coots, it must be time once again for a new Coots Classic Musical Monthly Special. And if it's April, it must be one of the Savants of the Savoy, Sir Zemulus Gilbert, and Arthur Sullivan. 
I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the fights historical. From marathon to water, in order categorical. Come on, no one's buying operetta no more. I'm very well acquainted you with matters mathematical. I understand equations with the simple and quadratical. About by no more theorem, I'm teaming with the lot of news. It ain't got a beat, you can't dance to it. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. Kids today want rap. Kids today want jazz. Kids today want what we're pushing today. And today, kids, we're pushing operetta. In short, it matters vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. Short, it matters vegetable, animal, and mineral. He is a very model of a modern major. Yeah, yeah, save it for the customers. I got a little case of pen cents, two pinafores, and three makitas by May. Kids? Aw, oh, Ma, this is a girl's song. You need a girl to plug it. Code's code rule number one. Pluggers are boys. Boys ain't girls, and girls don't plug. Now sing it. Three little mates from school are we. Hard as a school girl well can be. Filled to the brim with girlish glee. Three little mates from school. Wait, wait, where's my third maid? That good for nothing Mickey and Mickey better not have run off with my new cleaning girl. Here I am, Mr. C. Sorry I'm late, but... Cooch code rule number one. Early is on time. On time is late. Late is out. Hey, little mates. But I met this girl. We wrote a song, a jam of pearl. You want to give my song a whirl? It'll beat the panties off. Three little mates from the school. Panties? Just finish. Thank you. Coots Code Rule Number One Songwriters write songs, song pluggers plug the songs, and song publishers sweep the floor when the cleaning girl don't show. Chop chop, Mr. Coots. Chop chop, dear. Mickey! Betty, is this our song? Is it ever? Took me all night to get it all right. Oh, it's more than all right, Betty. It's perfect and beautiful and better than I deserve, and it makes me wanna. It just makes me wanna. <laughs> and I did. Wowzers! Nikki! Oh, jeez, Betty. I'm awful sorry. I'm not. What a line. We gotta remember that one if Ma ever lets you anywhere near a real girl. This must be one crackerjack piece of music. Musical team, it's such a honey a dream. Melody. Jeepers, Nick. Who'd have ever thunk up to break up a tune? Syncopate it. And play it on top of itself in a rag. Oh shucks. Actually, the syncopation was my idea. Nice job getting some girl to copy it down for you all neat and pretty like. It does look awful nice. Now wait a darn second. Forget Ma's old operetta, Huey. Yeah, we gotta go plug us some simple melody. Great, let's get plugging. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, gee, Betty, you're all sorts of swell singing in the parlor with your sisters and such. But tin pan's a tough alley. Working for man's game. Ain't no one gonna buy a song from a girl. They're sure as heck buy this one from us. We wanna listen to it. Wait, listen. We gotta, gotta listen, listen to you. Please listen. Come on and listen to you. Why won't anyone listen to me? I wanna listen, listen to you. Rap. And then that happened. Jesus, Mary and Uncle Joe, I thought I told those hooligans to get plugging. Oh, those hooligans got plugging all right. Well, that's something, anywho. You the new girl the agency sent over? That depends. What agency? I like your spunk. How's your cleaning? Top notch. What do you pay? Top dollar. Eight a week. Pluggers make 15. Pluggers are boys. Boys can't clean. Girls can't plug. Eight a week. I need the work. You got the job. Now, if you're going to work at Coots, girly. Betty. Girly. You got to follow the Coots code. Rule number one. Stay away from my pluggers. Especially that good for nothing Mickey McKee. The boy's got one thing on the brain. He does? And he ain't getting it from Ethel Coots. He's tried? Only every day since he come to Tin Pan Alley. He did? And when he couldn't get it from me, he went after my husband. Mr. Coots? But my bur ain't giving it up neither. No siree, if Mickey McKee wants to write a song, he'll have to do it someplace else. <laughs> oh, a 
song. Uh, yeah. What do you think I was talking about? A pork chop dinner? Yes. No, girly. Take a tip from an old nag who's been around the track a few times. Find yourself a nice man like my Bert. The Mickey McKees of the world will just chew you up and spit out the bones. Your happiness will never last a day Unless you listen to these words I gotta say A good man is hard to find You always get the other kind Just when you think that he is your pal You look for him and find and pull him round some other guy Number one plugger. You don't say. I just did. Because a good man nowadays is hard to find. Now back to work. Clouds up top, we're barely scraping by. Chasing rainbows don't pay. But guess that I'd run into my lady opportunity today And who could guess that lady I would say Miss Betty, throw your petty coats away Fran, promise me those trousers. Bye, hold my cap. What's going on? These pants are what's going on. Going on me. Because a good man is hard to find You always get the other kind Just when you think he won't do you wrong He'll kiss you quick then pick up and take off with your song Then you rave, you even crave To see him lay in his grave So if a girl is through and someone who can wear a pair Trousers, don't a derby hat, a double breasted blazer, and a flat cravat. Well, a good man just like that is hard to find. So, how do I look? Like a girl in boys' pants. Honey, you'll never pass for a man. What do you know? This will show that I'm making the key to run off with our song and leave me to clean house. What you gonna do, Betty? What any other girl would do if she was me. Ladies? I'm gonna pull up me some songs. Best of all, I'm gonna paint the rainbow. Now I'm getting tough. I guess I'm doing all if she is man enough. Because I'm sad like Betty Cole. She's got a nose for the fool. Oh yes, a good man to love me. That simple melody keeps playing in my ear. It's simply the only song I long to hear. No, old sport. You're here for the rent. You're here. You're here. You're here. Well, lucky who's on the wrong side of town. You know what to do, boys. Shake him down. <laughs> what manner of treachery is this? 
Unhand me, ruffian. Stop, I say. What the heck <coughs> is going on here? I'm here for the rent. I collect the moolah, not you, boolah boolah. Well, I'm sorry to break it to both of you, but the gold girls don't have any money. But, but they will, I'm making sure of it. Just as soon as you put him down. You catch the trolley uptown, and we'll all go merrily on our way. Night now. Not so fast, new kid. I'm talking to you, kid. We make a deal, you better come through, kid. I need that dough for my new bride-to-be. Mama sent her over. Say bonjourno, Marie. That ain't how things in this country go. When I say talk, you say hello. Mama mia! She's been like this all day. I'm ready to dump the bird back in the bay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before anyone dumps any birds in any bays, maybe I can help. That is, if you'd be willing to help my friends the gold girls in there. We talk a little quid pro quo. You make Marie talk, and I let up on the dough. Let's see what you got. I'll let you know. Well, it seems to me you're rather a sophisticated style of speech. May be a tad overwhelming to a poor, simple girl from the old country. You mean, I intimidate you when I articulate you? You terrorize when you verbalize. I shock and awe when I flap my jaw. And you make it worse with the rhyming verse. But if we set that rhyme to music, well now that's a different tune. All the girls are crazy about a certain little lad. Although he's very, very bad, he could be oh so good when he wanted to. Bad or good, he understood about love and other things. For every girl in town followed him around just to hold his hand and say, Okay, Marie, now when I go like this, por favor, DJ. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny? How you can love. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny. Heavens above, you make my sad heart jump with joy. And when you're near, I just can't sit still a minute. I'm so. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny. Please tell me, dear, what makes me love you so? You're not handsome, it's true. Hey. But when I look at you, I just. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny. Wait, stop the music. Everyone quiet. Johnny Giovanni is ready to try it. All the guys are wild about my little friend to me. Though she won't say a word to me. She sings my name as sweet as a chicken. Take it. She croons her little tune to say it disappears. And he don't bash her friends cause her sweet red brains play like music to his ears. Shut up you three. It's time for Marie. How I can love Oh Johnny, oh Johnny Heaven's above You make your hands and all jump with joy And when you're near a sweet kiss It's still a minute or so Oh Johnny, oh Johnny Please tell us dear What makes us love you so I will wait one more day But tomorrow they pay Johnny, oh, Johnny, oh. It's time to go now. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, oh. Stop saying, oh, now. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Didn't I not just say no? Oh, all right. One last. <laughs> Take it, Artie. No, you, Albie. No, you, Mick. You're the Irish tenor. Ah, uh, for the love of cheese, ain't one of you man enough to hit a high C? Ma, forget this old operetta hooey. Yeah, Ma. We could double our sales. 
plug in Mickey's new song. Uh, not that we did that yesterday or nothing. You what? Mickey, I swear if there was another half-decent Irish tenor around here... Three little boys. Is that an Irish tenor right here? Kids, I do believe there's a new tenor in town. Yeah, but is he Irish? Pleased to meet you. The name's Buddy. Oh, really? O'Reilly. Buddy O'Reilly, Irish tenor, at your service. Well, Buddy O'Reilly, how'd you like a job plugging songs for Ethelbert Coots? You have an opening? Give me a sec. McKee, you're fired. One just came up. What? Fifteen a week. And if you keep hitting those high C's, I'll make it sixteen. Sixteen a week? Oh, but I can't take his job. Oh, darn tootin' you can't. Just cause some boy soprano strolls in out of nowhere and hits a high C doesn't make him a plugger. It wouldn't even if I could hit a C-sharp. You got a C-sharp in ya? D-flat in a good day. Yeah, but can you plug? I don't know. I never tried. Then I say it's only fair we settle this matter like gentlemen, with a good old-fashioned... Don't say it. Plug off. I told you not to plug, plug off. off. Plug off. Plug off. off. Is there a plug off here today? No. Yes. Plug, plug off. off. Plug off. off. Plug, plug off. off. Bert, don't just stand there. Say something. Uh, plug off. Plug, plug off. off. Plug, plug off. off. Fine. Play your little plugger games. I'll have none of it. Just give me an Irish tenor who shows up on time. And may the best man win. Let the plug off begin. Take my music, please. Mince your hearts out, fellas. No, no, boys. If we're going to plug off, we're going to plug off right. Anyone can plug a product that ain't no trick With lyrics unforgettable and melody slick But if you wanna put a plugger to the test You gotta test them with the best And the best test of a true plugger is The simple little ditty just a scrap of a song It isn't very pretty but it doesn't last long And he who makes the most of it shall be our king on your mark, and set, it's time to sing this jingle for it. Chada, 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 ching, ching, ching. In case you miss it, that's a chada, 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 ching, ching, ching. It's a funny little melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. Round one. First plugger plugs, second plugger duplicates, and then elaborates. We'll begin with our challenger. That's me. Okay. Jada, Jada, I got this. Jada, Jada, Jing, Jing, Jing. Rookie mistake, rookie. It's not about the Jada. It's how you make a Jing. Now watch and learn. Jada, I'm coming home to ya. Jada, you ain't heard nothing yet. Jada, I've been gone too long. Oh, I'd give anything just to hear that old ding. Oh my, Jada. And round one goes to Mickey McGee. Oh, I'm just getting warmed up. Ready for our two boys soprano? Or maybe the better question is, did your mama ever teach you the blues? I got those Jada Jing blues, just as blue, baby, blue as can be. Oh, I've been singing the blues since my baby stopped swinging with me. Did I do? Now I do the whole day through it. Da 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 And the 
Rookie ties the score. Oh, now you got me out of shove. Shove aside, you kid. It's time to take this brother home. Why did Irish kids learn to sing like that? Uncle Seamus Bazaradai? a new Irish tenor. Tough luck, McKee. May the road rise to meet you and the wind be at your... whatever. <laughs> As for the rest of you, chop chop now. Back to work before I turn you all into boy sopranos. And she can do it too. Chop chop. Mickey, you gotta believe me. I never meant to- Ah, oh, save it, boy soprano. I don't give a fig about plugging in dusty old classics. Come on, fellas. Who needs coots anyway? We need coots, Mick. We are coots, Mick. Sorry, old pal. You were a great king while it lasted. Well, the heck of all you then. I'll plug McKee and Gold all by myself. Golden McKee. What? What'd you say? I said, boy soprano, with a great song like this one me and Betty Gold wrote yesterday, I can sell a million, pay off her rent, and buy her every last apple in the city of New York. And as for the rest of you, you can stick it in your hat and say you knew me when. Some of these days, gonna miss me, fella. Some of these days, gonna feel so bad. You'll miss the good time. You'll miss the fun time. You're leaving Mr. the bomb time that we all have. You'll be so lonely without me, oh me. Cause you know so well, boys, could have had me stay. But now I'm leaving, and I hope you're grieving. You're gonna miss your old pal, Mickey, yes sir. So when I stay. say chop, chop, you chop. I'm sorry, Mickey. Sorry. Ha! Boy Soprano, you just did me the favor of my life. Now I can plug this song anytime, anywhere. Just me, myself, and not you. It might get lonely, but that's the only way to get ahead, boy. I gotta start today. No time for grieving. I got a dream I can leave in. I gotta find a way someday, somehow I'm gonna make it pay, I'm starting now I'm gonna make them all say, holy cow! Some of these days Oh Johnny, oh Johnny, how you can laugh Oh Johnny, oh Johnny Ah, pipe down, give it a break 
sake, how much O can one Johnny take? It's a catchy tune, boss. We like a catchy tune. Everyone likes a catchy tune. With a catchy tune, we can make us some dough. I like the dough. I'm just sick of the yo. Get out of here, you lazy bum, and take your stinking song with you. Some of these days, gonna paint that rainbow. Some of these days, I make it all come true. Ah, who am I kidding? I've knocked on every door in Tin Pan Alley. I got nowhere to turn. Turn around, Pally. Don't bother, Giovanni. I got nothing for you. No job, no money. All I got to my name's a stinking song. Well, what a coinky dink this is. I've been thinking about getting in the music biz. Times are tough in the protection racket. So, if a guy had a catchy tune? I might back it. Naturally, I want a piece of the action. I'd say nine-tenths is a fair fraction. You want 90%? You gotta cover the rent. And if I don't like your terms? You sleep with the worms. Or maybe the fish. Do we capiche? I got the job. 16 bucks a week, all paid in advance to the new king of the pluggers. Attaboy. Go, buddy. So what's the bad news? Betty. The old king of the pluggers. Where's your sister? I gotta talk to her. Boy Soprano, what are you doing here? Trying to steal my girl like you stole my job? Haha, <laughs> I had to clean your clock. Mickey, it's not what you think. I'm really... Our new boarder. Buddy's running the room upstairs. We need the money. We'd be on the street without it. You saved the orphans! A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Gee, that's downright decent of you, Pally. Only you're paying their rent with my wages. Come on, put your dukes up. Let's go. I don't want to fight, Mickey. I want to talk. Ah, talking's for girls. Oh, no, that's hitting below the belt. No, <laughs> this, this is hitting below the belt. And this is hitting above it. Ah, uh, the Lower East Side. I've forgotten its many charms. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Tierney. Stephanie J. The Stephanie J. Tierney who owns this building? And the one next door? And the two next door to that? And, as of this morning, the three on the other side as well. That's the entire block, young lady. I'm instituting a major neighborhood redevelopment program. You're renovating our tenements? Actually, my grandson Junior here is set to manage the project upon his graduation from Yale next month. That is, if he can manage to collect a month's rent. Uh, right, ma'am. The rent, ma'am. May I please speak with the proprietor of this establishment? That would be me, Mr. Tierney. Our parents died from the cholera. Violet! I'm so sorry. Alice and I lost mother and father to the same. Stricken in a tenement just like this one. Trying to help the poor and hold masses yearning to breathe free. Alice? Alice? I'm so sorry. A love hushal. That means peace on them. Uh, and to you. Junior, the rent? It won't be late again, Mr. Tierney. Thank you, Miss Gold. Yes, well, our business here is done. Come along, Junior, Alice. Oh, but Grandmother, what about the song? My brother claims there's a certain young lady here who composes the most splendiferous tunes. And 
And I'd hope he might engage her to compose a special waltz for my debutante ball. Well, your brother didn't happen to mention a certain young fella in his splendiferous lyrics, did he? Hola, who knows? My head's all a whirl. I make my debut into Manhattan Society Saturday next. Mazel tov. That means congratulations. Mazel tov. I like it. Don't, Junior. It's not us. Why not, Grandmother? I'll explain in the Studebaker on the way home. Alice, dearest, we'll simply have to dance to a waltz by Strauss like everyone else. Come, now. Darn shame your sister's not here to write that new song. The ball is to be broadcast live to all of Manhattan on the new wireless radio box. On broadcast? the radio? I I'll can write, write your song. song. You, you can, can write. write. I'm, I'm a musical songs. demon. Oh, but isn't it just too, too perfect? You two boys can write my new song. Together! Truly, there's no need. Johann Strauss has many a fine. Okay, so we want a waltz. A waltz. A waltz. Oh, but I do adore a boy who can play. Ah, uh, it's nothing but a, but a bunch of la la without my words. Yeah, well, your words are just a bunch of la la without my tune. Hush. Some of us are trying to work here. Right, so we need a hook. A hook. Look, we got your debutante, got your dance, got your fancy box. Say, what's in that box anyway? Oh, we've just come from the dressmaker. I'll be wearing it to the ball Saturday next. Well, there's your hook. Alice's little blue dress. It's not a dress, it's a gown. Oh, but I adore a boy who knows fashion. <laughs> dress, tomato potato. What color blue would you th call this thing anywho? It's not the blue of the sky, and it's not the blue of the river. It's the blue of her eyes if you'd bother to look. I adore a boy who bothers! Alice's eyes blue. No? Wait. Alice, blue. O'Reilly, play it again. In her sweet little Alice blue dress. Gown. Gown. Right. When she first wandered down to the town He can rhyme She was both proud and shy As she felt every eye And in every shop window She grim passing by Nice Thanks Now back to the top Then in manner of fashion she frowned I got this And the world seemed to smile all around Show off Sorry Till it will teach you war it, she'll always adore it. I was gonna say that. Her sweet little Alice blue gown. Oh, grandmother, that's precisely the way I feel when I'm wearing it. Imagine two boys like you keen it so perfectly right. Well, we know what my is. Dear Mr. O'Reilly, won't you dance with me? Alice, this is hardly the time or place. Your sweet little Alice blue gown. Club, Saturday next, 7 sharp, the service entrance. Mazel tov! Be my date for the ball. And you'll be mine. And I'm taking Betty to the ball. Oh, boss. to a new sound, something American. American My Aunt Fanny. Alice told me it was composed by two Irish boys. No! No! no. In a Jewish saloon? No! no. 
And they're coming here to sing it tonight. To the Beekman Club? Shocking, shaking, scandalous. Hi, Junior. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Junior, you need to step all over my toes. Well, I wouldn't step on them, Alice, if you didn't keep trying to leave. All I can say is you're no Miss Francis Gold. And you're not half the man Buddy O'Reilly is. <sighs> Oh my word! I cannot believe you just gave me the raspberry! You gave me the raspberry first! I wonder what's keeping them anyway. It's only 60 blocks from the Lower East Side. Jeez <laughs> Louise, it may only be 60 blocks, but this might as well be a whole nother island. Jiminy Christmas! There's trees growing indoors! <laughs> oh, come on, Betty. Take off that coat and show a guy your dress. Get down. down! I'm still a bit chilly. Oh look, here's our host. Miss Gold, I've never seen a lovelier dress. Gown! Gown. Yeah, <laughs> don't you know anything, Junior? <laughs> I'm so glad you like it, Mr. Tierney. I made it myself. Well, what other young lady here can say that? Shall we see how it dances? Hold on, wherever can dear Mr. O'Reilly be? I thought surely he'd arrive with you. Wait, but he's not here? But he said he'd meet us. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe he's behind that tree. Good thinking, bud. Let's go check. This is crazy. I can't be Betty and Buddy both. We'll never pull it off. I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and tell Mickey the truth. Not after this. Jeez, Mickey. What kept you so long? I've been waiting over by that tree for ages. Dear Mr. O'Reilly, how very tashing you look in your top hat. And you in your... Alice blue gown. <laughs> and how's about me and my mother's uncle's monkey suit? Not bad for an out of work kid about to sing on national radio, huh, Betty? Where's Betty? She must still be by the tree. Oh, go get her. Oh, no, you don't. I've waited all night to dance with you, and I shan't wait a second longer. Come on, Squirt. Let's go find your sis. Hey. Isn't this her coat? Cloak, and I've got it. Yeah, but I'm her daddy. But I'm her sister. But I saw it first. But, hey, what's that over there? Dang, you nabbit. Mr. Tierney, I really don't think I should be here. Oh, but you most assuredly should, Miss Gold. I invited you. And I'll never know why, with all these polished and perfect girls to choose from. I admire you most. Admire what? My calloused hands, hair all a frizz, a homemade gown? All of it. Oh, Miss Gold. Francis, I know our lives are different. Perhaps too different to ever be the same. And yet, how do I say this? If you were the only girl in the world, and I were the only Nothing else would matter in the world today. We could go on loving in the same old way. A garden of Eden just made for to with nothing to mar our joy I would say such wonderful things to you there would be such wonderful things to do if you were the only girl in the world, and I were the only boy. Sometimes I like to dream that dreams come true. I dream of 
put a voice in one like you. Sorry, Miss Alice, but I need Mr. O'Reilly now. Hola! Have you seen Miss Cole? I've only got eyes for Mr. O'Reilly. It's working, Vi. I don't know how it's working, but it's working. Mickey! Betty, I've been looking for you forever. I've been gone for two minutes. No, I mean forever. If you were the only girl in the world, and I were the only boy. What would you go on? Nothing else would matter in the world today. We could go on loving the same old way. A garden of Eden jars me for two with nothing to mar our joy. I would say such wonderful things to you, there would be such wonderful things to do. If you were the only girl in the world, and I Ladies and gentlemen, Rockefellers, Roosevelt's, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Beekman Club tonight to celebrate the debut of my most precious granddaughter, Alice Rose Tierney. And to mark the occasion, we have a brand new song composed by two young men who are here tonight to sing it for us in all of Manhattan as Alice and I take to the dance floor in that time-honored Beekman Club tradition, the Manctriarch's Waltz. And we're live on the radio in two minutes. That's our cue. Where's O'Reilly? I can't sing our song without him. Betty's just gotta give him his lucky hat. What are you doing with O'Reilly's hat? Whenever you mind, just get up there and sing. Nice going with that. It's too big and too That's my bow chapeau! Not now, dear. Oh, we gotta get that hat. Junior, won't you and your lovely partner kindly join us on the dance floor? Wait, I know you. You're that girl from the saloon on the Lower East Side. Got it? And you two, what are you doing here? We were invited, Mrs. Tierney. Is that a problem? It most assuredly is not. On the contrary, Junior, it is a rather significant problem. The Beekman Club has very strict rules. And you know those people aren't allowed in here. But there are guests, Grandmother. No, these are your guests. Those people are just leaving. Good night, ladies. You can't do this! I said, good night. Grandmother, please! You're alive on the air in three, two, where's Buddy? Just sing. In our sweet little Alice Blue Gal. Miss Gold, please dance with me. When she first wandered down to the town. Grandmother, please dance with me. She was both proud and shy as she caught every eye. That in every shop window she'd been passing by. No, this is not some Delancey Street saloon where anything goes. This is the Beekman the Club. Manner of fashion she found. What's happening? And the world seemed to smile all around. Keep singing. Until she whipped and she wore it. Get them out now. <laughs> Betty!
hope you're enjoying the show. During trying times like these, education often gets overlooked or under-resourced by our legislators, and the fine arts are often at the end of that line. We here at SCCS want to thank you for taking the time to support the fine arts in our school. The SCCS Music Department offers a wide variety of musical opportunities, including marching band, flag and cadet corps, jazz band, pep band, acapella show choir, and many, many more. If you are able, please consider sending a donation to our school to help support the fine arts. Donations can be sent to the link in the description. Thank you, and please continue to enjoy the show after the intermission. Before we get back to the show, a quick reminder that the SCCS Marching Band will be returning in the fall to cheer on the football team and other fall sports teams. We also look forward to upstaging them in our halftime shows. If your child will be in grades 7 through 12 next year and plays an instrument, please make sure they've signed up using the link in the description. An email should have been sent out to all parents. In addition, we also are looking for students to join our newly revived flag corps led by Mrs. Reedy. Band students in grade six can also join under our cadet corps to help move equipment and see what marching band is gonna be like when they're older. In this difficult time, we need to work to keep traditions at SCCS thriving. Thank you.
Francis! Francis! Betty! Betty! Francis! Who's making all that racket? What are you crazy kids doing? We're looking for a couple of girls. Right up here, rich boy. <laughs> no, the gold girls. Betty! Francis! We owe them one humdinger of an apology. Betty! Francis! Ah, forget it, McKee. After what happened at the ball tonight, do you really think they'll answer to your flung pebbles and moonlight caterwauling? Francis! <laughs> Betty! Ah, uh, you're right, Junior. Good old-fashioned screaming our heads off ain't gonna make it. I gotta think modern. I gotta think now. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta talk to Betty, it's about tonight. If I could only find a telephone. Well, Alexander Graham, that would make things right. If I could say hello to her alone. Here's a phone. Gee, thanks. Maybe she might pick up if she hears the ring. The central picks me up along the line. Connect me with Miss Golden, I'll fix everything. And this is what I'll say to make her mine. Ahoy, Betty. Hello? Hello? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Then you'll be left all alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Well, what'd she say? Nothing. I forgot she doesn't have a telephone. Maybe she's sleeping. Maybe she don't feel like talking. Maybe she's in the privy with her knickers round her knees. What? I was. I think we need a different approach. And I've got just the thing in the Studebaker. I got a gift for Francis, it's a radio. It's wireless from the airwaves to your ear. A speed alternator sends the audio to vacuum tube receivers over here. I'd be awfully glad to share a broadcast dance with Francis and you can't dance with me. I'm hoping and I'm praying we may find romance now playing on WNYC. Who needs some stuffy old uptown ballroom? You can see a live music in the comfort of your very own tenement. We're broadcasting from high up the beautiful world of a story to ask a musical question. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Send me a kiss by one. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you'll lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Turn on the radio and tell me on your own. Bella, Gates, Martin, Leap, Chen. Hi, Uji, Nu, hi. Send me out to my wire. Baby, mine. On fire. It's called the ukulele. It's the latest craze from the islands of Hawaii. Mr. Tierney! Oh, thank heaven. We thought you girls never wanted to speak to us again. Turns out, you just took the long way home. Yes, walking 60 blocks in our best shoes. Well, they were our best shoes. Does take considerably longer than a joyride in one's rich grandmother's automobile. Oh, this was no joyride, Miss Gold. Grandmother doesn't even know we've taken the Studebaker. And believe you me, when she finds out... <laughs> What's that? Grandmother's other Studebaker. Junior Tierney, 
What are you doing here with my automobile? And my radio? And my ukuleles? They're my ukuleles, Grandmother. You never even play them. Don't take that tone with me, young man. You sound exactly like your father. Alav Heshalom. That will be enough. You are to climb back into that Studebaker and drive home this instant. And from this day forth, unless it is strictly a matter of official business, you are never to return to the Lower East Side again. But, Grandmother, I like it here. One might even say, I love it. Well, don't grow too fond of it, lad. These things tend not to last. Now go home, and don't forget my ukuleles. I'm sorry, Miss Gold. I understand, Mr. Tierney. It's just not us. Come on, baby. Let's get you up to bed. Aw, shucks. You never make Betty go to bed. I'll be up in a minute. Maybe about, about tonight. I blew the song. I got kicked out. I know, I saw. Yeah, I heard. But you shouldn't. But you should. Fine, I'll go first. <laughs> Betty, I blew it, I know. But I couldn't just stand there and go on singing while they blew booted you and your sisters out of the club. But that's exactly why you had to, Mickey. Don't you get it? People like us, we're not invited to the party. We can't join the club. But our music, it can go all the places we can't. If people like you take it there. You and Buddy. Buddy ditched Betty. Or did you miss that part? He was there, Mickey. I can explain. Oh, would you quit defending the guy? Jeez, what is it with you and Buddy O'Reilly anyway? Wait, stop the trolley. Suddenly it all makes sense. The cloak, the ball, why well, you disappeared behind that tree and he came out, and then he went behind it, and you came out, then you both disappeared and, oh, be Buddy, Betty, Betty, Buddy, how could I have been so dumb? I wanted to tell you, but... My writing partner and my girl? Yes, Mickey. You're both? Yes, Mickey. The two of you are? Yes, Mickey. You and Buddy O'Reilly are in love with yes, each other? Yes, Mickey. No, Mickey. Wait, what? Sure, you're in love with the guy. Who wouldn't be? He can read music. He has a great job. He's got the voice of an angel. This is crazy. No, Betty. You're crazy. You're crazy and you got no sense if you think I'm going to be some kind of go-between for you and Buddy O'Reilly to keep meeting up behind potted trees at fancy dances. Forget you, forget him, forget us. I never want to see either one of your stupid faces again as long as I love. I mean live. And then that happened. He says I'm crazy, got no sense. But I don't care. He may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent, and my stars on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what he may think of me. I'm happy, go lucky, and say I am plucky, so jolly and carefree. I don't care, I don't care if he gives me the meanest stony stare. I'll just go on living without a misgiving, cause I don't care. I'll never write another song. But I don't care It felt so right and went so wrong But I don't care From now on I'll be on my own Sometimes it might get kind of lonesome But I'll do it on my own some That's cause I don't care I don't care I don't care People frown on me Perhaps it's the lone way, but I'll go my own way with my philosophy. I don't care, I don't care. Nobody ever said that life was fair. If I'm not successful, it won't be distressful, cause I don't care. Oh, I don't care, I don't care. 
world, and I were the only boy. Hmm. Nothing else would matter in the world today. We could go on loving in the same old way. Get out, Alice. It's my song, and you can't have it. Oh, Piffle Jr., a love song belongs to anyone who's in love. That's the rule. You could never love Mr. O'Reilly the way I love Miss Gold. Well, I'd never been so foolish as to be caught with Grandmother Studebaker on the Lower East Side trying to woo him back. Well, I'd never have been caught if you hadn't told Grandmother where I went. But she did. And you did. <clears throat> And now neither of us can go back there again, unless it's strictly a matter of official... Hey... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Blast you, Alice, I thought of it first. The Delancey Street Project, of course. I'll get us back to the Lower East Side, make Grandmother proud of me, and build a better world for the woman I love. Beginning today, I won't think twice. I'll pave the way to paradise step by step i'll make a dream come true tell me what you will do i'm getting there alice i'll build a stairway to paradise with a new step every day i'm gonna get married any price stand aside i'm on my way i've had the blue and up above it's so fair Shoes go on and carry me there I'll build a stairway to paradise With a new step every day Do I hear marching up here? Yes, ma'am. Marching towards social reform Better living conditions for the poor and downtrodden A new day on Delancey Street It's madness to the people living in impoverished sadness When we can establish the steps to gladness We've the motive and we have the means To change the scene there Whoever thought I'd see the day My sonny's boy would stand and say Grandmother, I'm joining the family business Side by side we'll build a dynasty. Let's all sing it on three. One, two, and we'll build a stairway to paradise with a new step every day. We're gonna get there at any price. Stand aside, we're on our way. We've had the blue club wheels and up above it's up there. we shiny shoes, you Joy's high and fire proof with a toilet, a tub, and a new metal roof. A new step every day. I'll build the code. Yeah. yeah. I need your help. You gotta talk your aunt and publish in Betty and mine. Oh my heck. Everything is a source of fun. This is very, very wrong. Nobody say for we care none. Take off your mother's silk sarong. Life is a joke that has just begun. Put on your pants and print my song. We are the maids from school. Mrs. Coots, you gotta give my songs a chance. Skip it, McKee. Code's code, rule number one. Coots publishes classics. Classics are old. Your songs are new. New ain't old. Now sing it like your girls, boys! O'Reilly, get out here and show them how it's done. I can't watch this. Three little maids who all unmarry come from a lady seminary. Three little maids just to Three little maids from school. Three little... Lord, love a boy. Soprano. From 
Chop, chop, boys. Chopping ma. Mickey, I ain't talking. You gotta to you. talk. It's Not about, about Betty. Betty. Mickey, listen. All that stuff you said last night about me and Betty being in love. She she told you I said that? No. Yes. I just knew, okay? Oh, you just knew. How could you just know unless? Wait a minute. Stop the trolley. No, I get it. You both live in the same house. You both write songs. Buddy, Betty, Betty, Buddy, the two of you are? Yes, Mickey. You're writing songs together? No, Mickey. Would you pipe down and listen? I've been trying every which way to tell you the truth about me and Betty, and there's no good way to say it except, Mickey, I'm... Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, how you can help. I'll sing it later. Beat it, Marie. I got business with my partner, McKee. You gotta write that girl a different song before I do something very wrong. Wait a minute. Did he just say his partner, McKee? You never told me you were in cahoots with a gangster. Well, you never told me you were canoodling with my girl. I didn't, cause I'm not. Liar. Traitor. Cheater. Cad. I think you may be missing the point, boys. Write me that song, or I fracture a joint, boys. And if you do not cooperate, let me show you how my boys operate. <laughs> Jehoshaphat, now my pluggers that don't, darn the parasols, full speed ahead. Thanks, Mr. C. You just saved our patooties. For now, maybe. But Johnny still wants that song. He won't stop till he gets it. Then I guess we better go ride it, liar. Way ahead of you, traitor. And don't call me liar, traitor. Cheater. Cad. What's all the racket? You boys look like you've been in a street brawl. And with my good parasols, too. Albert Immediate Coos, I'm surprised at you. I'm sorry, dear. I'll buy you new ones. I'll run right down to Chinatown and... Shh, baby. Don't you know by now? Mama likes a surprise. Birdie was bashful and shy. Nobody understood why Ethel loved him. All the other girls passed him by. Mama? Everyone Still here. wanted to know 
how she could pick such a bow with a twinkle in her eye. She gave this reply. Way ahead of ya. You're not so good in a crowd, but when you get him alone, you'd be surprised. He isn't much of a cook, but when he takes you to mass, you'd be surprised. He doesn't look like much of a lover, but don't judge a book by his cover. He's got the face of an angel, but there's a devil in his eyes. Such a delicate thing, but when he starts in the squeeze, wow, wow, you'd be surprised. He doesn't look very strong, but when you sit on his knees, wow, wow, you'd be surprised. At a party or at a ball, I bet to admit he's nothing at all, but you dance around the kitchen floor, you'd be surprised. Giovanni. Oh, at least that partner didn't steal my job, my girl, and the only dream I ever had. Just give me a hook. You want a hook? I got your hook. Never trust a fellow who would take a fella's gal, cause he's never gonna be there for your buddy. Oh yeah, well, never trust a fellow with a gangster for a pal, cause you love me when they're beating and bloody. Never trust your feelings, fella. Never trust your heart, some fella might just come along and break, break it, it all apart. apart. Who needs all the hassle, Pally? Who needs all the pain? I was fine before I met, I met you, fella. fella. Lighter, traitor, cheater, cat, I'll, I'll be, be fine, fine again. again. Eh, it's no Alice Blue Gown. <laughs> I'll write this song without you, pal, and thank the Lord above That I'll never see your face again as long as I should love Liv, dang it, why do I keep doing that? I never needed nobody I was just fine on my own Then you came along and oh Betty Oh Betty, how do I go it alone? Nights are long since you went away I think about you all the day My Betty, my Betty Nobody quite like you 
is your voice, the touch of your hand, just long to know that you understand, my Betty, my Betty, your buddy misses you. treat him true. Now my buddy's gone without a song, and his buddy's feeling blue. Cause I ain't got nobody, and nobody My Just long to know that you'll understand My baby, my baby Your body misses you Well, looky who's here. All alone. By himself. Where's your parasols now, McKee? Ah, uh, you know that was all in fun. You hit us, we take a poke at you. And that's what we call Paul and the Jack. Johnny wants his new song. And he wants it now. You guys know I can't write a note. You gotta talk to O'Reilly. You talk to him, you better deliver. Ooh. Or you'll both take a nap in the Hudson River. Ugh. With cement in your shoes. And your head in the sack. Oh. And that's what we call Fallen the Jack. Oh, please don't stop on our account. Mr. Tierney, what are you doing here? Your grandmother said you could never come back to the Lower East Side. Except in matters of official business, Miss Gold, which this most assuredly is. Looky here. The Delancey Street Project? Approved by the Housing Bureau this very morning. My brother's be the new head of daily operations. That means I'll be here. Operating. Daily. How swell is that? I'm not sure. Exactly which houses do you plan to operate on? Why, these tenement houses, of course. They're overpopulated, under code. This would be a textbook example. No, this would be our home. But this is no kind of a home, Miss Gold. There are too many people crowded into not enough rooms. We never get lonely. Too few privies, not enough air shafts. So we learn to share. Bugs, mice, rats... In our house, cats never starve. Oh, but how could a millionaire's grandson ever understand? Rats and insects scurry. We don't worry. We just send them next door. Sure, the quarters are a little tight. Sure, the neighbors will fight. But when neighbors holler... We just bend the wall or ceiling or floor. When we get an earful, we stay cheerful. That's what neighbors are for. Help us out here, folks. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got bills? Bed bugs. Botulism. Fun. Not much money, oh but honey, ain't we got slumlords, sewage, syphilis, bitter pens unpaid, dear, we have enough bus, but smells unpaid, dear, poor people like us, in the winter, in the summer, ain't we got frostbite, beach drove, no fun, times are gone and getting bummer, do we have fun? There's nothing short of rich get rich and poor get poor. In the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun?
Like when the sewer blew and we got the day off. Hey, we got fun. Or when the factory burned down, we got the whole week off. Hey, we got fun. Or the typhus quarantine, when we got the whole month off. That was fun. If you survived it. Let's show them how we do it on Delancey Street, folks. That was fun! Yes, well, fun is all well and good, people, but a condemned neighborhood is most assuredly not fun. I'm sorry, Miss Gold. The whole block must come down. What? 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 No, what? 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 This ain't right! Do don't worry, don't worry. You'll all be relocated. To other neighborhoods, settlement houses... My boys grew up here! I run a business on this block. I can't move to Chinatown. I don't talk Chinese. And wherever you stick us, don't you just double the crowds and disease there? Well, I didn't think that... In your fancy buildings, once built, who here could afford to live in them? But I hadn't thought that... No, Mr. Tierney, you didn't think and you hadn't thought. Grandmother must have a plan. Sure, to give us the boot so she can put up more skyscrapers, make more fortunes, buy more ukuleles. Well, take a message to your grandmother from us, Junior. We're not leaving. You don't understand, Miss Gold. There's a wrecking ball coming. Well, it can't swing so long as we're in the buildings. Go home, everyone. Lock your doors. Protect our block. Move it, Gang, down rich boy Move it, through. rich boy. But I only meant to make life better for you. For all of you. For you, most of all. Oh, Miss Gold. Francis, don't you see? If you were the only girl... But I'm not, Junior. And you're not the only boy. It's just not us. I suppose not. Come on, Alice. Oh, but I did wish to see Mr. O'Reilly. Well, it seems we can't always have what we wish. Can we, Miss Gold? No, Mr. Cheney. Sometimes we just have what we have. Where's Betty? I gotta talk to her. Mickey, what happened to your eye? Oh, that's nothing. You ought to see the other guy's fist. Betty, get out here. What's the matter? Johnny's gang is what? They're out for blood, and they're coming after you and your boyfriend next. Buddy's not my boyfriend, Mickey. I mean, Mickey's my boyfriend, Buddy. I mean, I'm my boyfriend, Buddy. Ugh, Mickey! Stop yelling at me! All that matters now is Johnny gets a song and I get out of here. Yeah, you heard right. I'm leaving New York and that suits me just fine. Because it means I never have to see either one of your stupid faces again as long as I... As long as I live! Ha ha! I said it right that time. And now, madame... I take my love. Leave. Dang it. <laughs> we gotta get out of here before Johnny comes back. No! If we leave the building, Stephanie Tierney will smash it to smithereens. Well, if we stay, Johnny will do worse to Buddy. Me. Us. Oh, darn that Mickey for getting his mixed up with a gangster in the first place. Darn that Junior for being such a grandmama's boy. Darn that, Johnny. 
Darn that tyranny. Darn all boys. Darn right. And most of all, darn that buddy. If it weren't for him, I'd still be a girl. Mick would still be a plugger. And nobody'd be out to kill him. Me. Us. Oh, buddy O'Reilly. As soon as I clean up this mess you've made, we're through. Yes, there's a change in the weather, a change in the sea. And from now on, there'll be a change in me. My walk will be different, my talk and my name. Nothing about me's gonna be the same. I'm gonna change my way of living, if that ain't enough. I'm gonna change the way I got my stuff. The fellow that I've been is going far away. There'll be some changes made today. There'll be some changes made. I got a feeling that it won't go away. When Giovanni threatened Buddy today, O'Reilly stole my gal and Donny dirt. But I can't seem to see the fella hurt. I don't know why a guy should matter so. But I can't seem to let this feeling go. And so I gotta go and face the worst. If someone's going down, I'm going first. I gotta save O'Reilly from Johnny and his gang. It's the last thing I do. We're here with you, Mick. Mar no mar. It's, it's the, the last, last thing, thing we do. There'll be a change in our manner, change in our style. It's been a coming now for quite a while. We're finished with the mixing and we're through with the rules. Tell mama we are not both little girls. We're gonna change these old kimonos, no more parasols. We gotta stand up right when nature calls. We have to be mad and if it means a fight. There'll be some changes made tonight. There'll be some changes made. Grandmother? There'll be a change in your junior. I am breaking free. I won't demolish your community. I'm through with your money and I don't want your name. If all they bring is sorrow, suffering, and shame, I'll push a cart to make a living or I'll plug a song. I'll find a better way to get along. Go find another guy to do your dirty work now. There'll be some changes made. And how? There'll, There'll be, be some, some changes, changes made. made. If my grandson won't do it, I know who will. Johnny Giovanni, he's your man. If he can't do it, no one can. To the Lower East Side. To Delancey Street. Let Let's go. go. Yes, yes, there's a change in the direction. Don't know what we're doing, only this we know. We're fighting for the rest of the American way. way. That wrecking ball can't swing so long as we're still here. Get inside, people. Shut your windows. Lock your doors. Sit tight and stay put. I warn you, Miss Gold. You're playing with fire. Come on, fellas. Here we go now. Time to make some real dough now. First you light your smoke bomb with a match. Then you throw it in the shaft and watch it catch. Then you run like heck while they scream and shout. And that's what we call smoking them out. Johnny, Giovanni, don't no. do it. Beat it, O'Reilly. Mickey. Good thinking. So fast, O'Reilly McKee. For those even count, this is one, two, strike three. First you boys fail to write me a song. Then you poke me with parasols. That was just wrong. Now you're messing with business. That's it. There's no doubt. Game over. We're finished. Three strikes. You're out. No, Johnny. I made the deal. I'll pay the price. Aw, oh, gee, McKee. That's awfully nice. No, Johnny. You want a song? I got your song. Oh, pretty boy suddenly saving the day. And I thought all you could do was play. You got a song, fella? Fine. Sing away. He's calling your bluff, O'Reilly. He knows you ain't got no song without me. Plus, where are you gonna ever find you hooked? 
From you, you dumb lug. Me? I didn't give you nothing. Yeah, you did. I just couldn't tell you before. But now I got no choice and neither do you. So listen up, McKee. You made me everything I am. Everything I ever wanted to be. You made me a writer. You made me a plugger. You made me a believer. Yeah, and that in two bits I'll buy a sack of apples. Would you let me finish? Fine, O'Reilly. I made you this. I made you that. So what's the hook? You made me... You made me... Oh, heck. You made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. You made me love you. And all the time you knew it. I guess you always knew it. You made me happy sometimes. You made me glad. But there were times, dear, you made me feel so glad. You made me sigh for. I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell you. I need your love. That's true. Yes, I do. Stop the trolley. Song boy? Factory girl. Oh, Johnny. Mary? <laughs> Stop that ball! Junior, what are you doing? With all due respect, I'm taking over, old lady. I've been to the bank, the housing bureau, and your board of directors, and thanks to a series of highly improbable, yet legal, machinations, not to mention my father's trust fund, I have just purchased this vermin infested fire trap on the Lower East Side for the woman I love. Oh, Junior, that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard! Why build a stairway to paradise when it's here for us today? Junior Tierney, stealing this property from under your own grandmother's nose has got to be the sneakiest, most duplicitous, and perfidious act of treason I have ever encountered. My boy, today you are a businessman. Gold Music Hall is yours. But the rest of the block is still coming down. Swing that ball, boys! Stop that ball! Mickey, what are you doing? I don't know. It just looked good when he did it. Mr. Tierney, I want to purchase the rest of this block. With what, Mr. McKee? Pluck, optimism, and a catchy tune? How's about the profits from a couple of brand new million seller type songs? Won't you buy us Get your sweet little Alice blue gown. Coots Classics is gonna publish our tunes? Not Coots Classics, our new subsidiary. Coots, Coots contemporary. contemporary. Oh, but I adore a boy who's contemporary. You are a boy, right? Yes. Yes. So what changed your tune, Mrs. C? I thought Coots only sold the oldies. Coots code rule. Number two. Kid, old or new, a classic's a classic. Why, who knows? With a little luck, folks will still be singing these songs five years from now. Five, Mrs. Coots. They'll be singing them in ten. Make that a hundred, thanks to McKee and Gold. Make that gold in the key. How's about we make it? McKee and McKee. <laughs> For as long as I live, I mean love.
still here? It's over. It's not a Marvel movie. Go home. Stay home. Wash your hands. <laughs>